Hello everybody, welcome to another review. Today we'll be taking a look at uh, 40 Client, which is a free security suite from Fortinet, a company that mainly concentrates on endpoint security suites and business applications, but this is their free application for home and business users. You can get it for free, it's called 40 Client Lite. And this is what you get. Uh, you get the basic antivirus, the parental controls. I'm not sure if you get the firewall with this. I don't think so. They've changed their interface recently, so it looks a lot better than what it used to look like a few days ago. I mean, when in their last version, it looked uh, terrible. I think it looked like a pretty old security suite. It still looks that way, but uh, they've made it a little bit easier to navigate. But personally, I think the last one was better because it used to allow more customization. This one doesn't allow a lot of customization at all. It's basically for the home users, but uh, you can't see much of settings. I'm not sure if uh, you can do something to enable the settings, but I don't see that. So everything's in stock. I'll just show you guys that it's up to date. You can see that up, it's up to date says database is up to date. I just updated it right now. But I'll show you guys that it's update anyway. You can see it comes with parental control so basically their web blocking is uh, it blocks uh, malicious websites and that is a part of parental control so you'll have to enable it to get the web blocking. So I'll have it the way it's set up in default and we'll do some tests with these links. There you go, you saw that it's up to date. There you go, it's up to date. And let's just take a little look at the RAM usage of this application. I'm sure it's pretty light because uh, last time I tried it when I was updating and it was still pretty light. Okay, here we've got Fortinet. It uses a, quite a few process, but they're all pretty light. Okay, this one's gone up now. In fact, I guess I didn't have the signature, so it's not that light as I thought it would be. But it's still not too heavy. I mean, it's hanging around at about 35 megs. I haven't felt much of a uh, system slowdown, so it's pretty light, I'd say. So let's get started here. I've got malicious zero day links. We'll try them out. First one's an HTML exploit, some sort of, and there you go. JS frame virus, and that has been quarantined by 4D client. So first one was blocked. Okay, second one's some application, and that was caught as well. Win32 injector. The third one's another infected HTML, and that one's blocked too. The next one's a zip file. We've got a Trojan inside this. Let's wait for this to load up. It crashed, in fact, and uh, I'm not sure if that exactly is infected or just false positive. We'll find out. The next one's uh, Trojan. Okay, this one's uh, dead. Okay, the next one's live and we'll just uh, try it. Okay, let's see how Fortinet reacts to this one. Okay, this is another infected ap application. Basically, it's a PUP. Okay, this one was Win32 Banker. It's been caught and access has been denied. It's not going to run, basically. 
So let's. Uh, so both the viruses were blocked that we tried out recently. So let's try out the next one. Okay, this one was blocked by their web blocking. Okay, we'll consider this as dead. Okay, so the last one's another JS frame, and that one is block two. So, Fortinet did pretty well. You can see it's blocked most of the stuff. Uh, I have doubt only about one process that wasn't able to execute. So, we'll continue here. Let me grab some files. Welcome back everybody, I just grabbed my folder of malware, I have 199 files and we'll do a right click scan with Fortinet. And I'll be back with the results. The scan's finished and uh, quite a few items have been disinfected and few have been quarantined. Now it's good to see that they have a disinfect feature but I'll have to subtract the number of files disinfected from the number of misses. Now these are all zero day files, I just grabbed them yesterday so expected detection rates are pretty low. So let's see how many files it's disinfected here. Okay, so it looks like it's uh, just disinfected 24 files. So let's see how many we've got left over. In fact, we just have 46 items. And 24 were disinfected, so. So let's say we have 22 items left over and uh, the total was 199. So let's do the math. So that gives us a detection rate of about 89%, which is pretty good on these files. In fact, it's uh, really impressive. Now, since this is uh, more or less a signature-based application, I don't think it has got anything for zero-day threats. So I won't be running any of these files. I'll just do a scan with Hitman Pro to make sure that, uh, you know, uh, the link test was... Uh, Nothing was missed in the link test, so I'll just run Hitman Pro and I'll be back with the results. So as you can see, Hitman Pro hasn't found anything, so Fortinet successfully blocked everything from the web as well as it got a pretty good detection rate on my malware file. So this was just a quick little test to show you that uh, Fortinet uh, do have a free security suite that does pretty well. I'm sure a lot of you guys don't haven't even heard about 4D Client, so in case you're someone like that, uh, you should take a look because this is a pretty good application. And uh, it doesn't give too many alerts, so for someone who just likes signature-based protection with uh, not too many alerts, and uh, it still blocks quite a lot of stuff, so if you're someone like that, this might just as well be the security suite for you and it's free so check it out hope you guys enjoyed this review have a nice day i'll talk to you guys later